Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Space Engineers on the Radio Band 03, and it is awesome to have you along. Hope you're doing well. I'm doing fantastic. It's a Thursday morning, and here I am sitting here making a vid, which is just fantastic. I've got the tick. We're going to call it the tick. The tick. Because it latches onto things and hopefully, you know, takes the resources like a tick would with blood. So it's called the tick now. It almost looks like a little bit like a sail barge off of something Jabba the Hutt would have. <laughs> but we got a little sail barge here. It's not quite completed yet because I ran out of iron. Good morning, Morris. Hello, Gold Dragon. Good morning. Thanks for being here. Uh, so this is the tick, is what we're going to call it. I've added, uh, let me show you what I've added to it so you guys can kind of see. We've got some plates covering up the ports to the uh, engines here on both sides. I've done a dark red for the um, cargo container and for all the hydrogen engines. Again, we got kind of a steampunk look going on here. It seems like that's the route I want to go, this particular route. And then I put these guys on the side, these panels right here, just to kind of cover up the engines just a little bit more, give them a little protection. It's not heavy armor, it's just light armor, but I thought that looked pretty nice right there. And it comes down and it kind of cups the bottom of the ship right here too. We've got a bit of a gap right there, but I guess what I could do is probably put these guys... Hmm, they won't let me do that. Oh, I need steel plate. I bet I could do that and run that right along the bottom here and that would kind of clean that up so you can't quite see up into the guts. What I wanted to do was make sure I could see the hydrogen engines or the hydrogen, yeah, the hydrogen engines, the hydrogen tanks. Uh, I felt like I needed to see those guys right there just so I could see when they're filling up and you can see they're not filling up fast. You guys are right about that. There were comments about how I was going to need probably several H2O2 Jennies going uh, in order to get this thing filled up and it's taken me multiple trips over to the ice um, where am I going for the ice? You guys were with me last episode. Right over there, up to that big guy right there. Let me get that out of my hand. That guy right there has got a... It's, it was just a small node on the surface, but it goes in a way, so it's nice. So there's plenty of ice there for us. I'm just waiting for this to kind of get set up to where it's got... I'm thinking, and let me know what you guys think of this too. Dragonin, hello. First time chat. Thank you. Thanks for being here. I need to know if I get the tanks to maybe say 25% if that would be enough because when I'm thinking about it at 25% it's just literally a quick jump to that asteroid right over there it literally takes maybe 30 seconds to get there I was thinking about bringing her over and having her just drill out a bunch of ice and fill it up as much as I can with ice and let it just sit there and process that that's what I was thinking about doing. Instead of continuing to run back and forth with our small miner, we do that instead. So I'm curious about that. Because right now, basically what she's doing is she's she's sucking the, the base dry, being a, the tick that she is. She is uh, sucking the base dry of ice every time I bring it back. It doesn't take long, but, you know, it's not that big a deal either. I just go out and get some more. But you can see, it'll eventually pull all this ice out of all of these areas to create hydrogen for her. The real Johnny F, hello. <laughs> you still have 20 minutes, huh? Well, we got the ship. Have you? Did you see the ship? We just went out there and took a look at it, and we'll go back out there. We've got a little bit of work to do on it as well. Iron, I don't think I have a whole lot. Well, I got a little bit. Um, let's go to... Let's hide the empty. Let's go down... Uh, what, what happened? Oh, I've got this labeled. Let's grab off a couple of plates and a bit of these and a bit of those and a little bit of... I've got those. Okay, I need those. I need that. I need... Let's take another 100 of those right there. Maybe we will put a little plate, a little bit of a skid plate underneath uh, the tick. Ooh, don't fall in the hole. <laughs> don't fall in the hole. But that's how she's looking. I like it. Uh, again, very steampunky, I think, is what we've got with the pipes showing and stuff like that. But a little steampunky. And I went with a darker, kind of a brown color, since we're calling it the tick. And, and uh, you know, we got the red, too, there, just to represent maybe a little bit of blood being sucked out of something. So if I go like this, I bet I could put you... I can't put you there. I thought it would grab hold of this guy right here the edge of this but it's not doing it 
Because I guess that's actually taking up that space, huh? Hmm, bummer. I was kind of hoping that was going to work, because that would look really nice down here. I guess there's probably a piece of trim or something I could put along here. Oh, what was that? We've got a connection here. Oh, we do have a connection right there. Now, let's see if we've got one on the other side. We're going to have to run a, make another ice run here in just a second. Otherwise, we're going to be in some trouble. <laughs> you know, living on the edge and all. And yes, okay, beautiful. I can. I can have this. A little skid plate underneath to kind of just protect it a little bit more, I guess, from the occasional radio bump that happens. One of the reasons I built the cockpit further back was I was kind of tired of not being able to see uh, what it is I'm mining when I'm in third person. I like seeing what I'm mining. Hey Shelly, good morning. Real Johnny F, a big visual change from where I am in the last episode. Oh yeah, big visual change. Well, yeah, we've, we we kind of had the guts all put together last episode at the end of it. Just the guts. We hadn't done any. I did all of the uh, cosmetic work, <laughs> if you will, afterwards. Uh, actually, last night. In preparation of today. Because I wanted the ship to be more or less ship shape by the time I got back here. But that's how she's looking. And then what I did was I added this walkway around here. You need girders. Okay, I put this walkway on here. So if you had to jump out of the cockpit, you could actually walk up and check on the drills and stuff like that. You can also take a walk back to the very back area. You could take a look at all the equipment that's in here. I did move one of our gyroscopes around a little bit too. Uh, there we go. It's it's tucked away now. You can't even see it. But you can kind of get in here. I left the antenna and antenna. Someone suggested a beacon. I thought I'd leave the antenna because they said you don't want to uh, draw in um, any unfavorables. We'll read the antenna and see it. So I, put, I, I left the antenna on just because it does move, which is kind of cool. But we could walk along this catwalk and get around all of the stuff and get into here. And then it was also mentioned that what we should do is build some sort of a... Um, Kind of a docky. Oop, I bounced right off the floor there, didn't I? <laughs> like a rubber ball. Build some sort of a um, platform that goes up to it so we could get up to the cockpit. That's what I, that, that, that's, that's, um, that's what was being talked about in this last uh, episode. So let's see. First and foremost, I think I probably need to go get more ice. So let's go see what that's all about. I've added a few more lights in here. I don't know if you noticed. And we're not using the airtight space at the moment. I've got the vent turned off just because I'm... Oh, and you've got no battery juice left in you whatsoever. Okay, you've been, uh, you've been used up. Hmm. I had not noticed that before. Let's take a look at the ice again. No ice. There's no ice in the base at all anymore. It uses it up that fast, which is pretty amazing and very cool at the same time. Let's go get another load of ice real fast. If we could get her filled up enough, then that would be like 25%. I want to fly her over there and can finish filling her up over there. Uh, where's my asteroid at? I'm pointing the wrong direction. Another ice run here real fast with you guys. We'll check the hydrogen tanks when we go back to see just what percentage they were at. Last night I left them at about just under 10%, I think. And it's literally, I, when I go out and get a load of ice with this little ship and I go back, I've got about maybe five minutes to do some building on the ship. And then I run out and get some more ice. So that's been kind of the routine. But this is so close that it doesn't take, again, like I said, just a, just a hop, skip, and a jump over here to grab this ice. I've been doing quite a bit of mining on it, which you guys will see. But again, I think if I bring the tick over here, 
and plug her into it and drill it out and get a bunch of ice in there, then she could just sit there and work on it. That's what I'm thinking. A fusion reactor for power. Who do we got over here? The tick, yep. The blood sucking tick. I was looking at her, I was looking at the screenshot from last episode, and I thought, you know what? It's got a bug look to it. I mean, many ships do, right? They've just got this bug look to them. But she's kind of steampunky, and she's got that big big cargo container on her, and she just kind of looks kind of heavy. So I thought that would look... And, and chunky. So I thought that would look be kind of a cool name for her. And here is our ice that I have been working on. I pick up a little bit of stone, which I leave in just because I need iron as well. Pull away so I don't have you guys don't have to hear all that grinding going on. But then I gotta go back in, make sure we move forward a bit. See what I mean by that's just right up in the windshield? I think with the tick, we're gonna be able to see what we're doing better, especially in third person view. I like I like watching the ship work when I'm out here doing this. And the skid plates on the bottom that grab hold those magnetic plates on the bottom, like right now I'm attached to the asteroid. I don't mind those so much. They kind of keep me from making mistakes. Oh, Morris meant you could turn on the reactor. Yeah, I could turn on that reactor. I'm kind of curious to see if it's going to do anything because we've got the sun out right now. Uh, I'm assuming uh, she, because I'm not recharging this ship and I'm not recharging, the other ship is fully recharged now, so I'm not quite sure why we're using a power still. Probably um, <clears throat> just filling those out did it. Check our inventory. I check the inventory a lot just to make sure uh, I'm not, you know... sitting here drilling and not getting the resource. You just waste it. Uh, it was mentioned in the comments that uh, one of the runs out for iron recently that um, I over drilled and that stuff you just don't get. It doesn't come into your inventory so I check it on a regular basis. Once drill five, drill five is usually the last thing to fill up there. And then we, you know, then we have to go get more. Then we can leave. I'm st stuck on the asteroid again. It was suggested I, you know, fix those landing gear, but I kind of like it when it grabs every now and again. It's okay. Like, it just grabbed right now. That's fine. Keeps me from bouncing around, I think, a little bit. Argonaut, hello. Good evening to you. we doing we're filling up our last drill right here and I just watch it make sure it doesn't go over and then I take it back and uh, the tick uses it up as you guys saw I had just gotten back with a load of ice prior to starting this, this record went up and got a load of ice this morning first thing Fortunately, there's plenty of it here. Radio moments. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, we're almost there. Just a little bit more. That'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. And just like that, we've got a load of ice. So this goes back a little ways into the uh, mountain here, which or into the asteroid, the mountain. I keep calling them mountains. But it's a good chunk of ice. That's why I think if I bring the tick over here, I probably have pretty good luck at filling her up with some ice. Just bring her over. But I would like to see her at least get to uh, 
I guess 25% is what I'm thinking would be good. I've also determined that once I reach speed here... And we're almost there, and boom. It takes 3.4 kilometers for me to slow down and basically stop right at the base to float in and then dock it. <laughs> it's going to be a thing. i got to run out and get some coffee here pretty quick, too. I'll be right back. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not leaving just this second. We'll wait, of course, until we're docked. But, uh, yeah, my coffee maker is starting to move a little bit slower. Apparently, I use it too much. So I'll have to go and uh, <laughs> get some. Get some. Oh, man. So we talk about the weather a lot since we're together. And I got to tell you, it's going to be... What is it, 110 today, 110 tomorrow, maybe 113 Saturday, and then it starts to drop off. It's going to be a warm one. Oh, I really messed this up. We're going to go way past this thing. Well, we'll just do a little spin thing here. Still could use another gyroscope on here. Slow her down. Perfect. That'll work. That'll work just fine. The docking station for this um, small miner is not too conveniently placed back here. I think I'd like to put it someplace a little more out front, but or maybe even underneath. Somebody was mentioning that I could take blueprints of all the ships and then have the blueprints maybe on display. I think that's what was being said. It's also suggested I put cameras on here so I can dock faster. I kind of like doing it this way. It's really fun. Um, it's really fun. Does it take a little longer? I'm sure it does, but it's still fun. Okay, so there's, there's that, that's that landing gear. And a little bit of D. There we go. And then I'm just taking and turning off... I'm turning three on to lock us and turning off the hydrogen engines. Uh, but as you see, I didn't use um, my large hydrogen tank on here at all. I'm using just the small hydrogen tanks at the moment to fly back and forth to that, um, that ice deposit. I sure would like to see a green light come on here. Let's take a look and see what it's got going on. How much does it actually have? The other thing I notice is I can't seem to find my other uh, hydrogen tank. If I type in tick, here we go. It says tick hydrogen tank one and I had tick hydrogen tank two and I can't seem to find hydrogen tank two at all anymore. Yeah. But you can see, here we are, we're at 16.4%. We're not even at 25% yet, but it is just racing. So I think what I want to do is undock this ship just a hair, just so I can pull everything that's on this ship into its own control panel slot, so I can try to track down that other hydrogen tank. I'm assuming it's not filling up at the moment, because I turned them off initially, because it was just taking up all the ice, and it started to worry me a little bit. And I thought, well, just every time you get run out of ice, just go get more ice. So that's what I was thinking. Um, so if I go escape, is there? Uh, do I have this set up? I, I do have it on lock. Okay. Lock. Three. Oh, I need batteries. Okay, now let's go into our inventory. Now let's check the control panel. Antenna 2. Why does that show up in orange? I guess because I've got one already. I'm going to call that the tick antenna.
Okay, let's see if we can find that other hydrogen tank. War detector, hydrogen, hydrogen tank one. Where could it be? Thruster, 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 thruster. Large industrial cargo container. War detector, rotor, gyroscope, hydrogen tank one. Any ideas? We're not attached to the base anymore, so we shouldn't be getting any other grid than this ship's grid at the moment. We're not attached to the base anymore. That's why I did this. I lifted up a little bit just so we would be able to come in here and find everything that's on the ship. But I don't see... I don't see it. I clearly remember labeling it. Get out and check the tank. Is there a uh, panel for this? these tanks to be able to uh, look at them? Because I know I have two. I have two. I've got, what do I have here? Hydrogen tank. And a hydrogen tank. I've got two of them there. Blueprints are here. Snoop Dogg, hello. Good for repairing ships? Yes, uh huh. I named him Tick Hydro Tank. This is okay. Let's go back in here. HY. Thruster, 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 thruster. All that's thruster. Tick Hydrogen Tank 1. Now there should be a second hydrogen tank. If I did mislabel it, it should be in here. And I can't find it. Even when I'm attached to the base, I can't find the second hydrogen tank. Now, again, like I'd told you, I'd turn them off, but I'm not quite sure why I'm not getting a reading on it. Hey, JP. Yeah, Captain Twinkie, I thought so too. I thought it was kind of weird. I even tried typing in like two. That's the gyroscope. And yeah, that's all right. <gasps> there it is. Ha 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 Is that what I needed to do? Or did I just hide it? I just hit it, didn't I? That's what I did wrong. I accidentally clicked the show block in terminal instead of toggling it off. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Captain Twinkie. That's exactly where it was. It was hidden. Ha! Sweet. Didn't know about that. I do now. We'll see if I can remember that information. Can he be taught? So we're, it's already used up all the ice. We're at 22.7%, so we're close. I'm going to go one more run. Just one more run. Let's go... Uh, oh, you know what? I bet if I go here, rotate this a little bit, and just come down and redock. It'll fill up a little bit more. Let's go one, two, three. There we go. Filling back up again. Okay, it's going to continue to fill. 
Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. I knew I could count on you guys. I just knew I could count on you guys. That was just just awesome. Always awesome. Uh, we were making parts and pieces for this, so let's go one, one, two. Oh, you know what? I might have the stuff in here. Oh, did it not make any of the stuff? It didn't... Uh, well, hold on. I had queued this up. There we go. It's working. It's working. Uh, let's go to number four and to P. And let's grab this dark gray. So when I weld this, it looks right. Oh, it's going to be brown. I'm going to have to switch the color around. No big deal. You need construction components to build graded. Okay. Build planner is empty again. Okay, so I need to actually tell it to make this stuff again. Let's get this going. Now, is production actually working? Hmm. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tell it to make another 500 of those. I've got the steel plate. We got these guys coming in. I need the girders though as well, don't I? Production. Let's make one, two, three, four, five of those as well. And then we can finish that up when we get back. Because we need to go get the uh we probably need to go get ice now. Have we got a twenty five percent light yet? Because those are the lights up there, right? We got twenty five percent for each of the uh each of these guys right here, twenty five percent. Let's see if we're getting any power stored up again. I'm curious about that. Uh, yeah, we are. Okay, so it must have been just the fact that I was um, charging, getting the char the ship recharged, that it, it drained those batteries. That's fine. That's what we got them there for. Okay, so let's make another run and go get a little more ice. I left my headlights on in here. Not a good idea. And usually it's enough time between trips that this thing, the little hydrogen tanks on the space miner, fill up with... Uh, hydrogen and we're right back off again I'm only use a small amount of it I need to run and fill up my coffee cup give me like two seconds here I'll be right back What I was really happy to see was that um, that engine's been on the whole time. That uh, that hydrogen tank, I should say, has been on. Uh, at least I know it's filling up. Oh, my fingers in the wrong keys here. That's certainly to get you. That'll certainly get you killed. One more trip out. This should take care of it. And then we're going to take her out. On her maiden voyage. And I'm using the iron down there in the 10.3 kilometers right now. I'm using that for my iron source at the moment. Uh, I've not done any more exploration of asteroids. Uh, so uh, somebody... I can't remember who it was now. They left me directions. I, I didn't realize the asteroids kind of spawn. I, I guess they're the same on every single uh, world. They're just not a random thing out there in space. Oh, did I get everything out of here? I hope I did. I hope I emptied the inventory. I failed to check it. 
Uh, but they were saying that there were there's um, gold and plutonium, platinum. Sorry, platinum. Basically, off to my left here somewhere. If we follow the uh, contour of the planet, we will run into it. There's a like three asteroids together that uh, make up the deposit. Could be difficult to find. Could be difficult. get lined up here and started and then we'll I'll check on what's going on over here in the chat room in the chit chat uh yeah uh, maybe so I didn't know this was a seed kind of a game I thought it was just uh, this but uh, I guess it's a seed huh remember who it was. Okay, it looks like it took out most of what was in our ship. Uh, JP, I always try to show the seed in the very first part of the very first video. Always. That way, if anyone's curious as to what seed I'm on, they can always go back to that very first video and see it right at the beginning. I try to make a point to talk about it. I don't know. I didn't realize this was a seed generation kind of game. I thought just... Uh, I don't know. I, I guess it was just the world's the world, you know? We're attached to this again. Okay, we're filling up the industrial cockpit now with some ice, ice. Uh, I've never heard about seeds in Space Engineers either. I didn't know that was a thing. Which then, I guess, does make sense as to why asteroids would be in the same place. I just thought they were kind of randomly generated and it didn't really... Um, it wasn't that kind of a thing where they're guaranteed to be in these locations every time. Just a little bit more. And then we should be able to bring the tick over here pretty quick. We'll try her out. I've never flown a large grid ship. 3,303 and we're going to tap it just one more time and that's it. And then we're going to go ahead and back away from here. I'm happy to see that that goes in a ways. And I should be able to bring her over here and do a really decent number on this hole right here. It's going to be big enough. I'll have to back out and pull back in again because we don't really have her set up to just drill straight through. But she ought to be able to handle herself pretty good over here, I would hope. I just wanted to get to 25% for, uh, I guess, safety reasons. Okay, then I guess uh, somebody did. They grabbed the seed and they they jumped in here and they found uh, platinum and gold. Again, it's in a direction uh, towards... It's this, this ice asteroid. I'd have to look at the directions again. And we're going to have to hit the brakes here in just a second. Boom, there we go. 
was his Kostanian. Oh, JP actually gave me the answer first. Sorry about that. I didn't notice that. So sorry. Thank you to anybody who helps me, for sure. We've had a good run on Space Engineers, that's for darn sure. Very pleased. It's super fun. See what I mean? She gets heavy and takes her a while to slow down. And I come in over the base because it's fun. Granted, if I had a problem, <laughs> it'd really be a huge mess, but I do come in over the base. It's fun. The tick. Up a little bit and over a little bit. I don't know if I'm going to hit that or if I'm above it. Usually if I have it through the windshield, lined up in the middle of the windshield, I can get on here pretty fast. That was not a very good landing. Uh, so we're back to three and four. And again, it's just, um, the base fills up the hydrogen tanks in here pretty quick that I've noticed. Uh, control panel. If I go to SM, uh, SM hydrogen tank, there's a small one you can see it's filling it'll it's they don't use much juice so far this one here just about filled back up again so it uses a little bit of ice each time I go back out but it tends to work pretty good and we got the small ones too and they're always just you know almost full but not quite it's the batteries that I'm not charging either each time I come back. I've got them set to just be on. So I don't think anything's pulling power from the batteries either. Uh, I didn't notice to see just how much power was left on the batteries when I launched. I probably should have done that. Uh, let's go ahead and see what we got for ice. Here it is. Coming in. And, the machine, and it grabs the stone right away, too. So this is just cranking it out. Let's go see if the tick's got a, a, green, a green light showing yet. Hmm. Not yet, huh? Let's go check. Tick, hydrogen tank two. Oh, almost to twenty five percent. So we should start to see, and this one's at eighteen point eight percent. Okay, so we should see it pretty soon. I've considered putting a couple small hydro tanks on here too, and having them on off, full but off. That way, if I ever get in trouble, at least I've got a little bit of backup to keep moving. Helping players with the game at the same time.
uh, Pat Panic was working on a. Um, actually, Pat Panic was helping me with that. He has been working on a Discord channel for us, so I need to just take some time to go in there and take a, a good look at it. So she's still filling up. Okay, let's go see if we got some pieces, parts made for this over here. Uh, I need you, and I need you, and I need you. And I need a couple hundred of you. There we go. I think that's what we needed. It should maybe get us through this whole project. We'll see. You're filled up. You're filled up. And I think we're, we're going this way, right? I thought the catwalk on here would just give it a little something extra, you know? Construction components, huh? And that went with the dark gray because, well, it just looks pretty cool, I think. Yeah. Looks pretty cool. And it's just one additional color that's not the brown or the red, so it gets a little bit of a different color in there as well. I think that's pretty cool. All right, let's grab some more pieces and parts over here. Got a little bit of lag going on right now. I noticed that today. I don't usually have any problems at all, but uh, I've been having a little bit of lag. Crank them out. We need a bunch. Get these guys all fixed up here, too. Oh, we got a green light on our hydro tank right there. Boom. Green light. Invent oh, oh. Inventory full. Let me grab number four, and we're going to change you to gray, 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 dark, gunmetal gray. Excellent. And this is up here just to keep you from, you know, floating away straight up. You can't go any farther than that. I know. I know. As I was building it yesterday, I started thinking, last night, I started thinking about Jabba the Hutt. His sail barge and stuff, and just some of the ships that they had that were floating around during... Uh, Return of the Jedi uh, in the sand dunes of Tatooine. I thought it looked a, a, a little bit like something like that. Just made it, it was just fun. Uh, let's see what we got going on over here. Reserve tank and reserve battery. Pyre, thank you. I agree with you. Reserve tank and a reserve battery is usually a good idea. Plenty of fuel to make an ice run. I do. I think I've got plenty of fuel to go make an ice run. And we could get a whole bunch in this large cargo container that we've got up here, you know. Up here on the snout. We could totally fill this bad boy up with ice and just bring it back here, park it, and just let it run and do its thing. But yeah, we've got a light. I like the fact that these grid blocks right here, all the, that you can see through them. You know, some games, they, you have that, but you still can't see through it. I like the fact that these guys don't work that way. You can see. And we got, of course, access to them down here, too. Uh, I had a light set up. That's one thing I've not been able to really get is lights set up on the ship. Because I don't have any really good spots for them. It all wants to hover, you know, and I don't want them hovering. Can't put it there. I could put it on the hydrogen tank. I could put it on the side of the drill too, but that doesn't make much sense to me. Just don't have many up space for a good light. I, I guess right there I do, but that's not going to do me good any straightforward. But you can see I just don't have. It's all rounded blocks, so there's no place to really put a good light on here. I mean, if I did that, I guess if it stuck out a little bit, that wouldn't be too bad, right? I mean, that could look all right. 
Uh, and then also, if you're wondering, uh, we can get to it through the seat too, but if I'm outside doing stuff, we should be able to access our O2 H2 Gen right through here in this little cubby. Can I put a light in there? I can't put a light in there either. So that's where the H2 O2 Gen is, is right there. Yeah, lights need flat surfaces, yeah. Now, originally I had put the uh, flat square blocks in here just so I'd have a place to put the lights. I had this just the regular four big boy block in here, but that didn't work. Uh, it did, but then I thought, God, you know, these guys might look pretty cool in there, so I put these in instead. So if I have to give up some lights on the ship, I guess I'm okay with that. <laughs> I love... The lighting in the game it's just so it's really well done okay do I have any more small steel tubes let's make another hundred of those guys there too I don't know why I came all the way in here I've got a cargo container out here I just I don't know I guess I like to walk around the base it's fun oh there's the gyro I turned it so that it faces the uh, oh. hold on I'm Having some trouble here. I um, I turned it so it's facing forward. You guys said in the comments that they do face. This is the forward face of it. So that's where I, I put it right here. And I think it's cool that you can see it under the catwalk. I guess my goal is never to cover up all of the guts of the ship. Because the blocks look so cool. But you gotta have some kind of body on it, right? You just gotta. Let me turn my light on so you guys can at least see up here. And I think we got them all. It's back to four. Let's figure which ones we've got to get the paint fixed on. And there she is. There she is, the tick. Ready for, ready for transport. Little work catwalk all the way around it. And again, I think what would really be cool, as I agree, is if we had some sort of a structure out here. I think what I want is actually the, like the tick will park, or dock I should say, sort of over here. We'll run the pipe over further and make something so that she actually docks out here on the edge and not up on that platform because this is the building platform right now. So we may even take her and put her underneath here and just when we fly and we'll just fly upside down up in here, which is of course not true it's not upside down or right side up but you know for me this is upside down if we parked her down here that could be kind of cool too underneath the base that was mentioned in the comments as well uh, but I think we're ready to go for a trip now is there anything else I should light up in this to make sure I have it on my hot bar I've got the connector I got the battery I got the thrusters and I have the drill If I hit two, one, three. John BT2000, good morning. Try the corner lights. Oh, that's a good idea. Okay, try the corner lights. That's not a bad eye. A sail barge, yeah. Thanks, Obi, Obi Nubon. I gotta stop and say that right. Obi Nubon. To loc, panels forward and they are directional when using them for override features. Panels forward and they are directional when using them for override features. I think you're talking about the gyro. I think we're good. Let's take her out for a little spin. How's it look from uh, the cockpit? I need to find my ice asteroid. It's a bigger ship, so I gotta be careful when I'm flying around this thing now. Sail barge.
I like it. Let's see how long it takes her to slow down. She's not even carrying anything right now, so we'll have to see just what that's going to be like. We'll stop here at 3,000 and see what happens here. Oh, wow, she stops fast. Okay, she stops nice and fast. Get her back up to speed a little ways here. She's definitely going through the... Uh, Hydrogen much faster too though. She stops fast because she's empty. Yeah, I agree. I agree. <laughs> she is empty. She's going to weigh a lot when she gets ice in her. Yeah, she just stops on a dime here. I guess I gotta get the hydrogen tank set up to do the uh, refill, huh? We'll see how dark it is. And then we'll, if we have to, we'll work on some lights too. But this would be a nice little trial run with her. See how she does. Oh, I got the wrong drills apparently set up here. Um, block tools. Is this the one I use? There we go. Whoops. <laughs> smash. The first thing I do is smash. Let's take a look and see. How's she doing? I gotta get the feel for the distance. The distance on her. Bit of a rattle, a little shaking. I guess that's expected with four drills, right? The tick is sucking it up, that's right. She's gobbling up the ice. Oh. And that's why she's steampunk looking, because she gets she's got some pings and dings, especially with this pilot. Grab a little bit of the stone here, too. We're going to have to bore this out a little bit. Uh, the other comment that I was noticing, and you guys have brought it up in the streams as well. Oh, ouch. Watch it. Careful now. Don't be banging on stuff. Um, it'd be good to have several H2O2 Jennies go on to process the ice a little faster, because it could take a while for us to get... Um, her filled up. Yeah, let's check the inventory. How are we doing so far? 
6.4, 2,000, oh, wait, no, here we go, uh, 118,000 ice so far, well, with a little bit of stone in there, too. This is fun. This is cool. I also like the fact that I'm not right up against this thing. But the cockpit's not super close. I've got a little, you know, I can just sit back here and do the work. A little bit of stone never hurt anybody. We'll take some of that back too. We'll have a little more iron, silicon, all that good stuff. I have nine hours of power on here. It's not too bad. I was suggested maybe a solar panel on here. I just don't know where I'd put that. I guess I could put it on the top, but then that's the... That's a slab and some different blocks that aren't going to allow me to put something on top of it. I wonder if it would fit on the belly of the tick. A solar panel. To be honest, I should just put a um, reactor on here. We can afford to do that. Well, she cuts a nice hole. Look at her go. Back to here. What are we at? 201. We're halfway there. A little more, a little less than halfway there. So just while we've been here. We have gone from 23 to 24 H2. So the process is slow, but it is happening while we're sitting here working. You guys say as long as I don't push the thrusters and if I'm all I'm doing is this, it, it should, shouldn't be using any thrust at all, any hydrogen just to turn. The gyros are powered by the batteries, correct? So they really shouldn't do that. Oh, 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 careful now, careful. That's why we put skid plates down there. Let me do a little something else with the back end here. Try to come up with something else. Looks a little plain back there. Captain Twinkie, depends on your economy. Either you have the mining refining to support nuclear power or you invest in renewables and save the reactor as a backup if the battery goes flat. Uh, agreed. That's what I'm thinking. A reactor would be good. We've got one on the base just for that reason. Our batteries were dead when we got on today, but it uh, looks to me like they're charging back up again, so we're doing okay with that. I, don't have to, I didn't have to fire up the reactor for that. But to be, nine hours of battery power isn't too bad. Back out a little bit. Oh, that's cool. The steam from the thrusters. That's pretty cool. I wonder how long it'll take to use up a full load of this. Two seventy. Oh wow. This takes a little while, huh?
bumpers would be a great alternative to heavy armor. Wow, we're an hour in already. Thanks, Gold Dragon. One hour in and there's 35 of us here together. Awesome. Thank you for being here, everybody. No streams on Friday. We've got company coming into town. They actually land at the airport very early in the morning. We go pick them up and stuff, so... Um, we'll be entertaining our guest for the weekend. Then we'll have a normal week next week, and the week after that... My grandkids come. They're going to be here for a whole week, so I'll be off for a week there, too, just to hang out with them and enjoy my son, his wife, and uh, both of my granddaughters are coming out. Lots of pool time in store. We've got an 11-year-old and a 2-year-old. So we've gotten all kinds of Different pool toys, and bubble wands, and you name it. I mean, sidewalk chalk, all the good stuff, you know, the fun stuff. Inventory, how are we doing? I'm just, I'm mostly curious about the cargo container. <clears throat> We're at 401. Holy crap, we can keep going. I haven't even filled everything up yet that can be filled on the ship. Still got the cockpit empty, all the drills are empty. Maybe I should limit it to just the storage, the cargo container at the moment. Too bad on our first run, though. You we'll have to open this up a little bit more. Let's go ahead and get a little more stone. There, she's just taking chunks off, man. Gotta be careful that I don't break the drill. Okay, the cockpit's starting to fill up too, so that means the, the the tank is empty. Okay, the tank is full. Okay, there we go. Careful if you load too much radio. Be able to take that all home? Gotta hope so. That was the idea of this ship, right? Look at her. She looks like a tick. She's all full of ice. Don't hit the asteroid. Oh, did I right click accidentally here? What's all this down here? Inventory full. Stone. What's just stone and ice? Hmm. Well, it looks like I overdid it. I'll come back and get that stuff uh, in just a, a little bit later, maybe. If it's still here. To be honest, I found ice out here more than anything else uh, in terms of ores. Okay, we're going to make sure we don't aim at the base. Thinking maybe I should have put a second large thruster on the front. On the back. We're speeding up. Not fast, though. <laughs> never fly directly at the base. Yes, yes, never. An ejected pile of stuff. It, it it could be that I was. It's. I'm probably I'm full full, so I probably just you know. Messed that up. Yep, I, I learned that lesson. I've not crashed into an asteroid or anything. We almost did last episode. 
but didn't, fortunately. I'll be curious to see just how long it takes to stop this thing. We've not even managed to get up to the threshold yet. It's a lot of material we're bringing back. We'll just stick there at 65. The tick. I wonder how well three uh, thrusters are going to slow her down. What do you think? Maybe 3,000? We're not at full speed, but we'll see how long it takes her to slow down here. And we'll start at 3,000. Dampener's on. Oh, she's slowing down pretty dang quick, actually. Not too shabby. For having, you know, that much weight on her. We'll keep sailing for a little bit. t -Loke, I recommend max flight speed be under 75. Okay, you have three reverse. I do have three reverse, yeah. Which is why we put them there, right? I was thinking about putting a big one on the back. Maybe I'll change my mind and throw a bigger hydrogen uh, thruster on the back. Just to help with getting us up to speed. Uh, and then you said, uh, it said here, um, t Loke is saying not to get above 75. Well, that's a cool sound. Oh, that sounds so awesome. My inventory is super full. She seems to be keeping up with the production with our usage at the moment. We're still at 24. I love, I love the war, 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 war. when the engines are winding down. I think that's so cool. I make it do it just so I can hear it do it. <laughs> I just like it that much. It's a really cool sound. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get the feel for how fast I can be going. But yeah, I've been having those. Oh God, there's a big shadow. Always makes me nervous when there's a big shadow. John, that's a good question. John VT2000. How are you liking the live stream environment versus recorded YouTube vids? I've had a few people say they don't like the longer episodes uh, because they don't have time for it. And I thought about editing them, but then I've got... Some of you have been with me for a very long time and you like the longer episodes. I know two hour episodes are a really long episode, but um, it's kind of a thing you just go back and forth to. I'm just not sure what I want to do. I, I, I really don't want to edit uh, the stuff. I really don't. I kind of want to leave it up in its, its content. I like the benefits of this right here is that I've got you guys helping me right here, right now. Instead of it me asking a question in the next episode, I've got the answer to the question. You know what I mean? It's, it's already here. We've got the answers. People don't have to wait. I don't have to wait for the comments. Not that that's a bad thing. I've always loved that because that's what, you know, kind of unites all of us together here. I need to get uh, out here and take a look. Sorry, I'm moving so slow. I'm just being extra careful. Okay, I'm off a little bit there. Oh, wrong one. I always do the wrong one when I have to do that. Do that, and we're gonna come down. Just gonna grab the ship, straighten it out, and I can go one, two, and three. There we 
we go. We're back. Safe and sound. One piece. We're locked. We're locked. All right. Excellent. Now, it should have just a bunch of that, right? Tons of ice. So we'll let that process and go through its work, and then hopefully um, I'll take her back out again, and we'll just keep doing that until I've got her full. Now, one tank is still at 25%, but looks like the other tank was just down to, what, 24%? That's not so bad. It's not so bad at all. Hmm, you're not going to get grabbed from there? There we go. Okay, so some resources are coming in as well since we got the stone, which is nice. Oh. There we go. Uh, looks like we've mo spent most of the day out drilling. Um, okay, she's functional. She worked. She got us there, got us a bunch of ice, came back. That's a good thing. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, I'm going to take a little break and fill my coffee cup back up again. And then I'll come back and we'll move on to whatever it is we're going to do next. We've talked about um, defenses, which is something I've pushed off and pushed off and pushed off. What I'm thinking is maybe we could try to work on getting some of the conduit together. I figure for defenses, it might be kind of cool to have... I mean, how many do you think I need? If I put one here, say, and we put one on that corner and we put one over on that side, is three enough? One on top, one on the bottom maybe. We do one that's aimed up this direction and one that's aimed down the other direction. I don't know. We definitely need a better place for her to dock. And I'm thinking I want to run that off the edge here, off to the end. Bring this pipe all the way down and put her, kind of fly up and then kind of dock her with the drills up, upwards, right here at the end of this area. Make that kind of her official docking spot instead of up here on top. Keep the cargo container there, but then we'll uh, run a junction uh, off this direction here. Leave the cargo there, though. We could also work on this and see if we get a staircase down to figure out where we're going to go with that down there. I also need to put the welders on the small miner so that we can do... Uh, some welding here but we're gonna have to get a bunch of iron so that's the next thing I wouldn't mind getting her filled up with uh, O2 H2 O2 and then take her to the nearest iron uh, ore vein and just go to town on it get it all harvested up maybe then go to a nickel one a magnesium one go get all of them and bring it back here I love the fact that we've got her now and she holds so much material that's really great I know I was gonna take a break right you know me just chatty chatty Kathy here yeah I wonder if I should turn that on oh you know what we're gonna try some of those um, corner lights some corner lights on the tick let's do that when I come back and see if we can get her to light up a little bit better okay uh, I'm gonna hit pause I'll be back in just a couple minutes hang tight Uh, Tilok, we have no NPC threats. Uh, it's, there's no mods. This is the vanilla, complete vanilla version of uh, Space Engineers. Be right back.
Okay, so to low, come back. Thank you. Uh, I may see some vanilla pirates at worst that might, might send out some small drones. Uh, yeah, so far, the closest ship I've seen here was 2.5 kilometers away. Uh, it was quite a distance off, so I wasn't too worried about it. But, you know, I should still think about it. Um... We're we're just, uh, we're looking at lights. Jeez. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's grab you. And we already tried this one. There's a spotlight too. Is this one for the ship or is this one for the ship? I think it's this spotlight. We'll grab that guy right there. And I think those are the only two I'm going to look at. Uh, this guy here, I didn't really find. I tried to find a spot for him before, but it didn't work out too well. Ooh, you know, that might not be a bad spot for it. It could work right there. It could. It kind of blocks my view from... I wonder if I took the plate off of here. You know, if I took that plate off of there, I could set one here and one over there. And have quite a bit of light, huh? Let's try that out real quick. Number eight. Do we have multiple versions? Oh, I see all the lights are attached to the same thing. Okay. I guess that's okay with me like that. Mm. Ooh, maybe right there. There we go. There we go. Right there. And right here. What do you think? Right there and there? I think with those two, I'm probably going to have quite a bit of light there. Do I even need to? Uh, I need to go to P and pick my brown color. There we go. I guess I use some of the plates to pick that, to put those lights on. Yeah, the one with the plus sign. I always, I kind of, I didn't notice that. If you look at past seasons of Space Engineers, I've never gotten this far before, ever. I've never, this is the first time I've been to space, as a lot of people have heard me say over and over again. It's pretty exciting to be my first time in space. Oh, the high voltage danger is upside down. Okay, I don't like that. I don't like that. I want my high volt. Oh, I don't know if it's. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Danger. High voltage. There we go. Perfect. Okay, now we got a couple of spotlights. That'll work. That's going to be nice. So let's get those on their own. Uh, no. I need to go inventory and control panel and uh, spot. Spotlight four and five. Okay, so this needs to be tick. Tick, spotlight one. Tick. Spotlight two. Okay, and then we want to put them together, so we're going to... Block group, there we go. Uh, tick. Lights. Save. Okay, and then I go, oh, I didn't have to back out, I go to, no, not GPS, I need to go to, oh, I need to go to my G category, G. 
groups, tick lights, put those are number five, and toggle blocks on and off. Right now they're on. If I hit five, uh, escape. If I hit five, yeah, perfect. Okay, there we go. All right, so the ticks got some eyeballs now. She could see a little bit better when we're uh, out and about here. Maybe, uh, mm, that's too big of a block. That's too big. Well, hold on, we're not done with lights yet. Maybe we could put a couple of lights back in here. Ooh, those will work along the walkway. Ooh, I like that. Okay, so we do one here and we'll do one up here. How about that? Okay. A little extra light so when we're out and about you guys can see better. I can see better. All that good stuff. Uh, where was that other one at? Put it all the way in the back. Okay. All the way in the back. There we go. Still learning how to fly, everyone. <laughs> Still learning how to fly. That looks pretty cool. I like that. I could put a third one right here. It's not in the middle. Yeah, let's not do that. Let's not put one in the middle there. Oh, bummer. <laughs> I was kind of hoping it would actually fit there. But it's not going to. And I got a railing there, so it's not going to work there either. Oh, yeah, it won't go there. Yeah, these are too small the blocks for it to go there. I could do a couple here, but I don't know what really the point of that would be. Maybe something on the undercarriage, if we needed to see, we'd be able to do that then. Like one there maybe, and then one there. Is this going to drain too much power, though, from my ship? That's what I don't know. One there, and then we had the other one up front here, like so. We'll, re we'll put all the lights back on a group again. Maybe I'll put these lights on a separate group. We think. Part of me wants to put one right there too. Right there on either side. Minimal power draw. Okay, good deal. All right, minimal power draw. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Beautiful, look at that. Well, that already looks sexier, huh? I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, cool. Sorry about the crackly chair. I can't find a good gaming chair for myself. I've bought two of those gaming chairs, gaming chairs. All the chairs sit just like an inch or two too low. My arms, I got, I got really long arms. I'm, I'm built like an orangutan. And my arms droop down and then my wrists start getting sore. So I'm using this old chair that I've had for years, and it's just the best chair I have. And it, it's it got it's got personality, let's put it that way. Red and orange Roman Empire colors. Ooh, oh really? Yes, lights are fully color-able. I know. I don't know if I want to do any colors on them, though. I, I like the white. It's just a really big contrast. And look how the way it shines off the color there. That's pretty cool. I like that. It's amazing to me that they could do that. Uh, but I think I might want to paint them a different color. Uh, we've been using kind of the dark ray for the accessories. Some of them, so I thought maybe 
I can get them to go dark gray. That gun smoke gray color. Gunmetal gray, I should say. And I don't think I'm going to increase their intensity either. I think they're more for decoration than anything else at the moment. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, I did it. There we go. Perfect. Just like that. And then back to P. Select my brown color. See if I can fix that panel that we just kind of screwed up. Where was she at? Oh, here it is, right here. That actually looks kind of neat, huh? Like uh, there was a piece of the ship that broke off and we just took some scrap and redid it. Okay, I think we're good on the lighting. I think that's good. Let's see if we can get that... Um, Uh, inventory, control panel, lights. Okay, here we go. Corner light, 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 corner light. There's a few things I do know, and if it's in white, that means it's on this grid that we are currently sitting on. Okay, so those guys are all together. Block group. Um, uh, this should be called uh, Tick. Causeway lights. Is Causeway with an E? Looks weird to me. I think it's with an E, right? Okay, and then G. Looking for the groups and to causeway lights. There we go. Toggle blocks on and off. Okay, and I should be able to hit number six. Oh, it's sweet. Look at that. Let me scroll in a little bit. I love that. That's cool. Got the big lights up front. It doesn't really show me a difference in the time of battery power I've got on there. It's just two hours, but I think it's because I'm docked, right? You really can't give me a complete reading here. Beautiful. Okay. She is lit up now and ready to rock and roll. And I will turn my light on too so you guys can see better. Sorry about that. I think we're good on her. I think we're good. I don't know that I want to do anything else to her at the moment. She seems pretty capable. Uh, she's not fast, but you know why would she be? She's a uh, she's an ore ship. Oh, it's awesome! Just so cool. I want to go in here and just see what the ice is doing. Just, just, just I'm just very curious as to what the ice is doing in here. How much do we have left after coming back from with a full load from her? Okay, yeah, they're still all working it. That's great. Yeah, it's got so much in it now that it's just amazing. That is so cool. So it can sit here and generate and do that all at once and just fill up with H2. Man, that is so cool. So basically, I should start to see, hopefully, the tanks start to fill up pretty quick. Well, I guess it's not going to be very fast. Somebody was saying it's going to probably take a good two hours to actually fill this thing with uh, hydrogen. I've got nothing on the first tank, though. Why wouldn't the first tank give me a reading already? I've got it back here in the back tank. Is it filling the back tank first? Let's go take a look at those. Oops, careful now. Uh, control panel. Uh, HY tanks. No. Let's just go tick. If I type in tick, it should bring them all up. There we go. Lights, antenna. Hydrogen tank one is almost 25%, and this one's at 30. Okay, that's why. This one is still just working on getting itself to 25%. Uh, the game fills one at a time, huh? 
It's filling both of them. It's working on both at the same time here, which is cool. I like that. This guy here, I, I think it's, maybe it's not. This is not going up at all. Oh, there it goes, 24.7. Okay, so it's filling it. It's just going to take, it's going to take a tick <laughs> to get it filled up. I know. Dad joke. Uh, okay. All right, that's all right. I'm patient. I'm patient. There's plenty of other things I could be doing, right? For God's sakes, there's an entire base that needs work. Hold on, I gotta do something. I gotta stand here, just look cool on the front end of my ship. Right? Turn off all the tabs. Oh, that is sweet. I love that. I love that to death. That is so cool looking. Look how small we are compared to it too. That is really cool. I was glad that last episode somebody had me pull up the small miner next to it just to see the contrast in size. And basically the small one's as big as one of those side panels on here, but the rest of the ship is just huge. Yeah, I'm, I'm loving it. That's really cool. I like it a lot. It's a good time. Okay, light back on. Oh, light was on. Oh, that's K. That's not the light. <sighs> oh. <laughs> Floating away. All right, and we're back. All right, let's go ahead and see. It. Oh, I think I hit Q. No, it's Control. It's uh, Caps Lock that does the speed thing. There we go. Yeah, Caps Lock. Okay. Okay, yeah, this is definitely losing its power. So I'm wondering if I should charge it up. It's used up all the power it has. Everything's still on, which is good, but, mm, you know... Be better. It'd be better if we had a little more power. Part of me thinks maybe I should work on another solar array to get that up and running. I mean, those of you who don't know, we do have a, um, a small reactor back here that's turned off. It's got uranium in it, but we've got that turned off. It's just for a backup in case of an emergency. And I don't see this as being an emergency just yet. These batteries look dead, but... Fully depleted in two hours. See, it's not going to deplete anymore, I don't think. It's going to be fine. The batteries on the ships are full again, so it shouldn't be drawing power out of those to charge these batteries. Uh, actually, you know what? Um, this one's not charged at all. Wait, wait, dang minute. Or my... My atmospheric thrusters are on. I must have hit two accidentally. I bet that's sucking some power out of the base, huh? I'm going to put this back on recharge. And that's all I got to do. Batteries on this thing will fill up with juice really quick. Yeah, we've only got a little bit of power that we need. Hydrogen's already full. God, I must have hit the atmospheric thrusters. I bet that's... Those would pull, right? Those would pull energy from the base, right? Uh, yeah, we're on recharge now. I was letting it just take from the base if it wanted to. I was letting it, I was letting the base and everything feed off this ship if it wanted to at the moment. Uh, Pyre, 122, we talked about putting the hydrogen engine on the base, but then we had some comments come in about how it doesn't seem to be as efficient as having a reactor and since I'm using hydrogen thrusters here in space almost exclusively at the moment because we have not found um, uh, I can never platinum uh, we can't build the ion thrusters that are I guess superior in space so we can't build those yet until we find platinum Yeah, there's no sun, right? Yeah, it's not. Yeah, the atmospheric thrusters were pulling power. So that's probably why my batteries are drained. So I'm not concerned about the batteries right now. This guy is going to be fully charged here in just a second, if not if not already. Yeah, well, just about. Just a little bit more power, and it'll be fine. So it should be good to go. And then after that, all the power will be surplus, because the batteries over here are fully charged as well on the tick. Yeah, that one's full. 
and that one's full too. So we're just right now we're just all waiting. We're just waiting for the hydrogen to. There we go. We got a quarter full on both of our tanks. That's very promising. So we're in the right direction. It's filling up. I'm not going to worry about it. We'll find something else to do. Let's take a look at this. Um, let's take a look at this little thing down below here that we're talking about putting some kind of a basically a, a, a platform for us to call our I don't know, is it a control tower? Is it more like living quarters? I feel like it's more like living quarters than anything else. So let's go with this here. And we're going to oh, actually go to P and take and turn all that stuff off. None of that. And let's just go with the basic. And we need number four. The block. The block. Okay, so we okay. We need to build a staircase down from there. I've I've thought about doing maybe a ladder instead, but then you know the stairs are just fun because you have to interact with it and it just looks better. That's one of those mistakes right there. That's the thing that can cost me my base. So I got to be careful about that, not to start a new grid. I can be taught, you know. Takes a little while, but I can be taught. Uh, yeah, let's go all the way to the top with that. Do something like that right there. And we're going to want to do this over here too. We want it filled in. Nice and solid like. Oh, dude, am I? I'm in the right spot. Let's get this kind of, let's get all our corners figured out and then we can just fill in the, the rest of it. Very good. Okay, so we got to come out one from that and then we can go straight up with that. The building is so smooth. So smooth. We talked about doing a lot of glass in this causeway that comes down here. I want to make sure at least it looks good just this way. We'll get something, we'll get structure put in place here so we get the stairs in here. I'll be honest, I've not been too worried about attacks. I noticed that there's a lot of flying around out here going on, but nobody has seemed to ever come over here. I may regret that in the long run, but I don't know. So when we get down to the bottom of the stairs, which is down here, of course, it's gonna be quite a staircase. I've got to think we're gonna want to. Which way? Okay, let's let's go down here and land. There we go. I get to the bottom here. I can walk out this way, and we've got quite a bit of space between here and the edge of that. Uh, this platform above us. So I'm thinking we could do a decent sized room down here. I don't want to get bigger than this up here, of course. I want it to be smaller. The other option I was thinking about is that we could maybe take this guy and run it all the way to the asteroid, this guy and this guy all the way to the asteroid, or even the one on the very end here over to the asteroid. And then we take, we build a causeway through here that goes into the, um, into the asteroid over there. That was another thought I had. Because who doesn't like to dig into an asteroid and create, you know, something cool out of it? So we could come across this way. And I think a lot of you would prefer to see just see us kind of use the asteroid organically. <laughs> organically, right? Look at that. And uh, do something into the asteroid. I mean, that's just fun. We've done a little bit of drilling and it took a little while to do it, but it wasn't so bad. That's not the right one. Where am I looking? I'm looking down here. Can I get another one in there? No. Okay. So you guys are in all the way. This is what I was thinking. So now let's go to... Let's take these out of here.
We could do a cool catwalk system from here over to here, have it be open air, and then just go right into this bad boy right here, and maybe curl in a little bit and, and do that. We could do something like that as well. So this would be an actual outside walkway out here. That could be fun. And again, we want to use a lot of glass. So I guess I'm going to be going on a silicon run for sure to get lots of silicon. But if we do this, we could easily do some kind of a glass enclosure here. And then we, um, let me take that out of my hands. We do a glass enclosure, like a dome type thing. We come out and we are able to walk into the asteroid. Now, do I want the asteroid part that we dig out to be um, airtight? I don't think so. Maybe we'll have fun. Maybe we'll turn it into maybe we could turn it into some kind of a mining operation in here that we do it by hand just for the fun of it. Uh, too far down, I think. Uh, you're going to do three by two this time. Yes. Too slow. Ladder travel is okay. Slow really. Yeah. Yeah, but it, the animation's pretty cool, and I like it. I'm not like, like I've said. I'm, I'm not in a hurry to be done with games. I play them until I get. Uh, you know, I feel like playing something else. So I'm not in any hurry. Too far down. Let's see. Just how far down is that? It's not too bad. The idea was is that eventually we're going to have something that's going to... You know, lead up and hold this to to there. That's not what I'm. That's not what I'm going to do. Like just that. But the idea is that we have brackets that come off of this that actually hold it to this platform, just to give it a little more structure down here. So although this does look like just a big old box, we can make the box look much much sexier as we go. We've got a lot of block choices now, so creating something that kind of does a nice, um, a nice kind of a curvature to hold, say, halfway down, maybe here, and it goes up, would be really nice all the way around, and then leave it pretty much unwelded, so it looks like, um, you know, scaffolding, that, that kind of scaffolding that would hold that together. Pound per pound reactor has the best power generators, but in emergency, you will want a couple hydrogen engines. I think we even talked about maybe putting some hydrogen tanks up. We did talk about putting hydrogen tanks up there, and that's where we could put a hydrogen engine, too, because it would be, you know, all the backups that we can have is, is great. I thought the roof looked kind of crappy. It's just a big flat surface. So we've talked about putting some hydrogen tanks up here, and it was suggested that we put a platform down first made of the um, uh, heavy metal, the armor blocks, the heavy armor blocks, and put those down and then put the hydrogen tanks on top because I guess when they explode, they cause quite a bit of damage, which, of course, makes total sense. <clears throat> Use, using the beams for those struts. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. That's just it. We can come back. This is just the kind of a rough draft to get us kind of an idea as to what we're going to do. Uh, all options are open. But, yeah, we could use those truss blocks. Uh, let me get them. These guys right here, these are really good. These beams, yeah, they're pretty sexy. I like them. Uh, let's get rid of you, get rid of you, get rid of you, get rid of you. And we need um, everything. No, we need the uh, stairs. And we need uh, catwalks. There we go. We did this recently, and I kind of screwed it up last time. I need construction components, girders, small tubes, construction components. Okay. I was doing this wrong, but basically... Hmm. This is not going to sit up on top like this, is it? I guess we're going to have a staircase here first. If I do that there... Construction. Okay, construction components. I'm getting them. I'm getting them. I'm getting them. Hold on. How's our ice doing? Still have quite a bit showing up in here. Very good. Very good. And then I needed some construction components, right? There we go. That should that should be enough to get us kind of started here. 
that there. Now, can I put this? Energy low. You don't say. How do I get that catwalk to sit up top? I think I have to put on a light there or something. There we go. So if I put a light there, it should attach to that, right? If I'm not mistaken, this guy right here will put... If we do him right there, then I can take the catwalk number six and put him right there. But we should probably have some sort of a railing on it, I would think. On both sides. And then we're going to build something over the top of this. We may even run... Uh, well, we're not going to run a platform from there over to here. We're just not going to do that. That defeats the purpose of having that room the way it is. So if I do that, then I'm going to come down here. I want the one rail one. There. And then... Nope. I need that double rail one. There, we, there it is. That right there. My stairs are upside down. Shoot. I never catch that. It seems like I never catch that in time. I never catch that when it's supposed to. There we go. That's better. You go there. You go there. See you later, Real Johnny. Thanks for being here today. Appreciate it. A, car a carbonara this evening. Huh? We had taco salads last night. They were so good, too. I love taco salads. I'm getting hungry, yeah. It's almost lunchtime. Got about 10 minutes to go here, and then I will be going to lunch. Medieval Engineers this afternoon, 1 to 3 Arizona time. We'll be doing some Medieval Engineers. Okay, and then I can do number 6. And I can turn... No, I need this one. Yeah, I just do, I do need this one. Right? That's what I did up here. Uh, maybe not this one. I think if I stick with the corners and rails all the way around, it would look nicer. You know, just a handrail all the way along here. Then that way I could take this block out, say, well, not this one, but the ones below it, and turn them into glass. Spin that sucker around. Spin it around again. Back to the ladder. The stairs, I mean. We tried to do this last time. <laughs> Remember the whole thing uh, collapsed. It was actually this structure that I, uh, I did not do correctly. Uh, I noticed that the explosion occurred. The explosion that started the whole chain of events that happened here on this base were from... Uh, we had a few blocks in this corridor explode. I, of course, the one who caused the whole explosion. Because who doesn't like a good explosion? Uh, 
Uh, let's go back to four, and we're gonna put you there and you there. We're almost there. We got the, at least to get the staircase put in today. Start thinking about this. I know I talked about defenses, but again, I'm just I don't I don't feel like I'm very concerned about them. And then it's gonna be too late, I know, and then I'm gonna be sorry for it. So I'm gonna show up and just blow the tick up and get rid of it. I need to look into how to do the um, uh, blueprints. I've never done one of those. My stair is right there, but what we could do here, since I am, see, I'm, I'm thinking about doing the uh, the passageway here, so that's going to be in the way right there. So what I can do is I can go back to number six. Let's grab the double rail. We'll take him over here. Go back to the one we just had. Turn you here. And then I guess I'm going to have to turn again. And then I can put my final staircase in. Hmm. That doesn't really work too well. Yeah, that does not work that way. Um, hmm. Well, bummer. Um, if I come down here, I'm just going to hit the wall. I may have to rethink my door over here. I'll rethink my door. Um, I can't I can't see if that's the right way or not there we go oh all right there we go and now we come over here and we're at the bottom. I can put the door here, come in here, a little corridor, boom, and we're on our way there. And leave the stair right there. What is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine flights of stairs. What do you think? I think that's I think that's good. Just looking over at the comments. Projectors can be used to rebuild ships and repair ships. Okay, taking a blueprint is easy. Okay, so we'll take a blueprint of it and then hold on to it. And then uh, I especially I don't usually take blueprints because half the a lot of the fun for me is oh the sun's out is to build the ships and I you never build the same ship twice. You just don't. I don't. And so if I lose one, it's like, well, I'll just build another one, and this one's going to look a little different than the last one. It gives me more experience in building ships as well. I do like the tick. I like the way it looks. Uh, but if it were to get completely annihilated and blown up, I don't think it would devastate me to the end of the world because I would build another ship, and it would look a little different than this one. Oh, God, you know what would be kind of cool right here? I got the catwalk, though. Oh, I got rails on both sides here, but I don't have them down the rest of the way. I think it's because I wanted to be able to get to the equipment. 
Okay, I need to, yeah, I need to swap these out. This is the wrong, these are the wrong uh, rails right here. I got two wrong rails I need to swap out there. But, we got to start, the start of what's going to go down here. And then up here, we have to come up with something, I, I would like at least one block around that initial area. And we're going to make this look interesting out here as best we can. I want a room that's going to be big enough for us to, yeah, have a little fun in here on, on this part of it right here. We have a little fun on this edge around here. And then this will be a room. So maybe when we walk in here, it's a separate airtight area. You know, we'll do the double door thing. Come in here and boom, we could take our helmet off again and go downstairs to the, uh, I don't know, whatever we're going to call it. You know, we'll, we'll do something down there. And then we still have all of this out here for ship building. All this space out here. That should work. But yeah, this is going to have to be, you know, pretty up. It's not, the blocks are just blocks to represent where I want things to go at the moment. The door, if it's right here, that's perfect. We come in, we hit the stairs, we're good to go. Uh, we're, odds are we're going to be running from here to there on a regular basis. Uh, it might not be bad either to put the door kind of right here. And then take this and put that over there, or something like that. So we have uh, faster access without having to go out and around. It's not like that's that big a deal, but... You know, we could save some time by doing that and then have a door right here and power inside ready to go. Something like that is what I was thinking too. Oh, they're lighting up. That's right. Soak up that sun. Do it. No rotors, no scripts. We're not going to follow the sun with the solar panels. Everyone keeps telling me to do that. I'm, I'm strictly vanilla. Strictly vanilla from my first go here. Uh, my first real go at Space Engineers. My first real go at it. All right, that wraps up the stream. There it is, the, the tick. We took her out. She did just fine. She got some uh, ice for us, a lot of ice for us. And for herself, too. Have we uh, managed to get any more lights lit up? Not yet, but I bet we're doing pretty good. I bet we're doing pretty good. It's going to take a little while. It's going to take a tick for it to happen. I'll probably have to make another run or two out there to... Uh, you know, make sure she's all filled up. But, uh... Energy low. I've had fun. I had a lot of fun building her. That's for sure. If you like to build ships, this is a good ship building game. Most definitely. Uh, Morris, yeah, see you in a couple of hours. We'll be back with some medieval engineers. Keen software day today. We'll do some medieval engineers, and uh, we got that barn finally built that last episode after it exploded on me like five different times. So that was done, and I'm not quite sure what we're going to get into today, but we'll get into something on Medieval Engineers. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's stream this morning. Hope you did. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. We're going to end with 33 people at our two-hour mark. Uh, again, I won't have any episodes on Friday, uh, which means I won't have any Saturday, Sunday either. We've got company in town, but then I'll be right back at it again Monday morning. Uh, Mondays uh, morning and afternoon. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So I hope you guys can join me then. I really appreciate it very much. All the help. That's the best part of doing the streams is that it's instant help. And then it relays into the video later. So have an awesome, a fantastic, and a superb day. And I look forward to talking to you again next time.